Alright, this is this isn't how I wanted it to go. I wanted to show you the whole instance, but um hey, I love it. But apparently so far we uh, we went back, we killed the bounty hunter. A few of us died in the process, we revived each other. So far this mission's pretty difficult. We did find our one teammate did leave though, and we found out that uh, you can have your companions out to kinda even on the odds if you don't have four people. So you could have two people and each of you have your companions out to simulate a four-person party, so that's probably why they suggested two people for this quest. But anyways, um, we basically killed the bounty hunter, saved the bridge, and they were like, hey, you guys need to go over into the place and like sabotage it, essentially. And the one guy offered that maybe we could just leave that ambassador there, because she's a little bitch, and she's the reason they were all being attacked in the first place anyway. So now we are in the Star Destroyer, killing a bunch of and we're kind of nearing the end, so um, I guess this works because if you, you're going to be like, what the hell, that looks so fun, and you're going to want to play this mission on your own, and I won't have ruined everything. So I think this is the last showdown, so if you don't want to ruin the end of this mission, you should stop watching now. Because I think I have done this before last night. And this is probably the ending scene. People get so geeked out when they see the Sith. This guy kind of looks like a star killer. Greetings. A soldier? What a waste. No soldier can match the power of a Sith. No one can stand up against me. None of you will leave here alive. To destroy a dangerous foe, that is the way of a true Sith. I think this is the guy you, who did the voiceover for Resident Evil's intro scene. Resident Evil. You insane. You don't have to continue down the dark path. You can still embrace peace. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. By and the way, through the passion, Jedi that I, like I left, gain so. strength. The power of the dark side is infinite. Are you ready to face oblivion? I'm ready to take you out and get on with my mission. Then let's begin! Starkiller! Now we very well might die since like, we don't have one. Although I've got T7. Apparently he does work out so let's get him. T7! No! T7's a better tank than me. He has the red screen. Charging up our main turbo lasers batteries. In a few yeah, moments, last your pathetic time. ship and all your pathetic friends will be nothing but floating debris. Floating debris. Alright, so we have the choice. Do we want to leave this bitch here? I do. I 
This guy got a new robe, by the way. The guy looked like a little bitch. Now he looks like a fucking awesome like, Jedi. I still look like a little Padawan. Start confusion. Come on, get onto the shuttles. We have to hurry. If we launch fast enough, I think we can make it. Are you ready? First Officer Hawken doesn't want you to come back from this one, Ambassador. He thinks you'll just cause more trouble. Is this a joke? That spineless, indecisive. He wants you to hand me over to the Imperials? Unbelievable. After everything I've done to save the ship, everything I've done for the Republic, that scum tries to betray me to the Empire. Wait. You didn't actually agree to leave me behind, did you? Yes, I, I wouldn't leave you behind to die, Asar. Damn it. Good. I was about to... Well, it doesn't matter. Come on, we've wasted too much time here already. Let's go. I cause and cry. I'm causing drama. I'm causing drama. Bam! Cause me some drama. Time for the finale. You guys didn't want to watch the next episode anyway. It was just boring. Bunch of grinding. It was fun grinding. It's just, you know. I think like the ship is still, like, intact. It's been, like, under attack from a Star Destroyer this entire time. I've played for, like, an hour. I will, I will say that, um, these levels are kind of big. That's probably my one complaint. I don't like running. I like fighting. I wish they would design them better so that some future levels and stuff design them better. That way I don't have to, you know. Trying to give you guys a good look at what this game feels like to run around and play. She's gonna come storming in like all mad at him. Get us out of here now. now! When I played this last night, it glitched and the Star Destroyer was like still there after they warped. Let's see if it does it again. Maybe they patched it over We're safe. No, nope, it's still it. there. You did what no one else could have done. <laughs> You've saved us all. Still, we owe you still. our lives, every one of us. So, on behalf of the passengers and crew of the Republic Transport Esselus, thank you. Let's talk. I hope those thanks come with a hefty reward. Of course, of course. Heroism deserves to be rewarded. I took up a collection from everyone on the ship. Hopefully, these credits will help you save other people in need. The same way you saved us. I don't need a reward. I guess. Thank you very much. You deserve far more. Oh, damn. Shit gonna go down. Ah, oh, fuck. Ambassador Asara, it's, it's a relief to see that you made it back to us safely as well. Really? I imagine it comes as a bit of a surprise to see me here at all, Hawken. I... I don't know what you mean. Of course I'm glad to see you. Why would you think differently? I just thought the Ambassador ought to know the full facts of the situation. Oh, you must have misunderstood me. I would... I would never. I, I wouldn't do something like that. Thank you for telling me the truth. And for everything else you've done here. The Republic needs heroes like you now more than ever. Don't try to pull me into any more of your problems, Asara. I've got more urgent things to deal with. I wouldn't dream of it. I should warn you, though. <laughs> Grand Moff Kilgrim is never I'm going to forget what we've done. He'll stop at nothing to get his revenge. I'm mad at her. Kilran thinks he can take us. He's in for a surprise. Just be sure to stay alert for now. Kilran is full of surprises. Anyway. Enough of that. I'd say it's about time we all relaxed a bit and enjoyed the rest of our trip. Thanks again. And good luck in the future. Alright, so we gotta go talk to this guy. And we'll get our money. Get our money. No, I don't wanna go to Coruscant. If they make me if they make me go to Coruscant, I'm gonna be upset. And 
also Bioware. That's not how like the stars work. The stars turn into lines. They don't. You don't add lines to the stars. It's gonna drive me crazy. I'm gonna like have a problem with it the entire time I play this game. Oh crap! I got a text. Right, so after you do the, the mission, you automatically. I also did like a bunch of little missions that like automatically paid off when I was in there. They gave me like experience and stuff. So I get these Coruscant com commendations. It gives me a total of like all my social points that I got. You can buy things with social points, like RP stuff. So that's kind of cool. Um, my robot likes me less, and I got a bunch of experience. So you can accept it, and you can add them as friends. I don't want to add them as friends. I'm just gonna agree. and here's how you like you can leave the group. You just go quickly. All right, so I'm gonna add a talent point. Let's see. Now I'm level 13. I'm going to go and see what new spells I have. Oh, I'll show you guys what the first mission is. This is a repeatable quest, so you can go back in there and do that thing again. So basically saying, hey, you want to go to Coruscant? Well, you can take the shuttle. And then I'm That's gonna... excellent news. Or you can take this if you have a group. And then the whole idea is that. Yeah. And he's like, hint, hint. This is a party situation. You want to have some teammates. But the cool part is, if you have like a good team and some cool companions, you can like do it with just two people. So that's kind of neat. All right, well, I'm going to go and, uh, you know, get some upgraded skills, and maybe I'll uh, come back and walk around Coruscant. I'll show you guys Coruscant, because Coruscant fucking awesome! I love Coruscant. It reminds me of the fifth element, so, yeah.